This video will demonstrate how to perform length-based takeoff using changes in elevation within Live Count. To begin, click Settings. Ensure that your vertical length is set for elevation, and then return to the canvas. If you wish, you can specify a starting elevation prior to starting the run by right-clicking the canvas and choosing Enable Elevation or pressing the spacebar shortcut key to display the flyout, which will allow you to specify your starting elevation. At any point during the run, you can modify the current elevation. So we will rise from 10 feet to 20 feet, and then we can continue the run at 20 feet. As we rose from 10 to 20, the elevation change is denoted by a solid X. However, if we have a drop in elevation relative to the last placed point, so if we drop from 20 to 5, we will see that a dashed X is placed where the drop occurred. On committing the length to the canvas and on selection of a point, we can see that each point placed after the change in elevation obtains that elevation. So this point selected here is at five feet, whereas this point is at 20 feet. If you wish to modify an existing point's elevation, select the field, enter in a new value. So in this case, we will drop to six feet. And then the point is updated with the corresponding indicator for elevation change. If you wish to modify multiple points elevation, perform a multi-select of the points. So I'll select these two points. I will enter in a new elevation value of 100 feet, at which point both points are updated. As you will see, the two elevation change indicators were consolidated into one as both points are now at 100 feet and the indicator is only displayed at the point in which the first change in the elevation occurred. One other item worth mentioning is that you will see your total count exceeds that of the visually placed points. 10 of 7. For each change in elevation, an additional point is placed or accounted for to factor in the top and the bottom fittings which may exist of the elevation change.